Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Hey guys, it's Sharika, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So we're gonna start today's vlog off with a nasty gal haul. So thank you, nasty gal, for sponsoring this video. So I picked out a few pieces for fall time. I have to warn you guys, I have a lot of black um just sweaters and things like that so i'm going to show you starting with the sweater that i have on this is their tire look sweater i'm going to keep on these same black tights throughout the entire video because i do have a lot of black because that's what i wear during the fall and winter time so um, i like this sweater because you can tie it as tight or as loose as you want it um, i'm going to tie it a little tight so it's not showing that much skin y'all know i'm pretty simple with my style um but if you want it to show a little midriff you can but i love this sweater and let me get a little closer so you can see the ribbed detail this sweater is super cute and really nice and i love it so i have this in a size 14 and keep in mind that i'll have all the links to everything that I show you in today's video in my description box below. So let's go to the next piece. Okay, y'all, I tried to warn you, I have a lot of black. So this is the next one. This one is called the Wrap Tie Cardigan Sweater. And it ties on the side like this. Very cute. So I really like this one. Um, very oversized, so look at the arms very very nice very very cozy and i love this so again you can show a little cleavage depending on your mood or where you're going you can show a little cleavage but i really really like this nice and simple and it's perfect with these nice leggings that i have on so yeah it's really cute it's really really warm like really warm this will definitely keep you warm but i love like the tie detail on the side super cute let me see if i could get it over a little bit more let's get it over here on the side like this and i'm gonna really tie it a little tighter just so it could cinch my waist a little bit, a little bit more. So yeah, this is it. Really cute. And the arms are really long, but I do like that because it just looks really cozy to me. So I like the longer sleeves. So yeah. And the sleeves do kind of puff out a little bit. So like I said, this sweater is very warm. Here is the next one. The name of this sweater is called Waist Slouchy Sweater, and it is an off the shoulder sweater. If you wanna do the one shoulder, you can do it that way, depending on what you're into. Doesn't look bad, but I like both shoulders. Really cute, right? <laughs> this is it. Super cute. And I love it. This is another really cozy sweater. Same material. This is really, really nice. So what y'all think about this one? All right, y'all. So next up is another wrap sweater. It's just like the black one, just in a gray. And it's super cute. So what y'all think about this? I love that these are my favorite ones. The wrap sweaters, super cute. And if you want it to go a little half sweater moment, you can do it like that if that's what you're into. Um, but I would just keep mine down a little bit. Let me just fix this part. I like it like that. I think that looks really cute. So yeah. I love this. So cute, right? 
super cute. Y'all, trying on this stuff got me hot. Okay, but I'm gonna do it for y'all because y'all my girl, so I'm gonna do it for y'all. But, whew, girl, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so these are the pleated front wide leg pants. They're super cute. I love this color. So pretty. Y'all already know, like, I always have a lot of issues with slouching in the front. But maybe if I put on some heels, um, you won't see it as much. So this is what they look like in the back. Really cute. Y'all know I am a sucker for wide leg pants, and they're pretty wide. So they look really nice. They do have the pockets on the sides. Really, really cute. They'll be so cute with like a nice little sweater or a nice blouse. Even with the shirt that I have on now is really cute, but I really, really like these. So that is everything um, that I'm gonna share with you guys today from Nasty Gal. So if you guys are interested in anything that I showed today, don't forget to check the description box below. All right, y'all, so today is Sunday. It is game day and this is what I'm having. Some mussels, these are my favorite. With some hot sauce on the side. Go Jags. Good morning. Making myself some coffee this morning. And I need to actually buy me some more because I'm running a little low. Y'all, so it is Monday. I just came back from the gym. Y'all, I feel so small today. Like, this is me from the side. My back is getting smaller. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Okay, y'all, so here is my lunch I have a piece of salmon from last night um, and then I'm having some spinach and arugula and I put some beets on here because I call myself trying to make my own beet juice and I actually forgot that I bought the beets and I didn't have the rest of the stuff I had these beets in there since last week let's see how many pieces I only have like this beet one piece left um so i said well let me just taste some and see what it tastes like because growing up my mom used to eat those beets like out of the can it was so disgusting and i haven't had them since i was a little girl so i said well let me taste them and see what they taste like and they actually don't taste bad like they don't taste like anything maybe cooked they taste terrible but they don't taste bad so i said well let me just use them on this salad so that's what I did and then I'm gonna go to the store later and buy some more and see if I can make the beet juice myself because those suja juices are not cheap and I love them so much but they're expensive so I'm gonna try to make them myself but I'm still gonna buy some more beet juice because I just like it but yeah this is today's lunch so I'm gonna eat this and get ready for the day Y'all, so I've been having a few problems with um, my camera because I dropped it a few times. So I need to take it to Best Buy and let them look at it. It does have insurance, so I'm not too sure what's going on, but the focus is just like been crap. Um, so I'm getting ready to go to my son's game here shortly. I'm just waiting on my husband. And I think I'm gonna wear these shades right here. So yeah. I have like a little hungry headache. But yesterday I went to Dillard's and stopped by the Joe Malone counter. And I tried two different ones. One of you guys was telling me to try the bubble bath. 
but she said that they didn't have any bubble bath they had like the body wash and i picked up the english pear and freesia it smells so good y'all i just love the way that they wrap this stuff it's so pretty so i got this little small one and this was the only size that they had in this one so it's a one wick candle i really like this one this one is nice and then i bought a big boy and this one is like this is now my favorite candle like i love this one so this one is the pomegranate noir and Mm, it smells so good so so good so this is like my new favorite candle i do like the um what is it it's something in sea salt i can't think of it right now but i really do like that one but i love this one so good this is my first time purchasing this one so i really like this one i'll probably be burning this one in my studio they did give me a few samples of some things um let's see i didn't know they gave me all this so she gave me some of the english pear body and hand wash um this is oh this is the one that i really really like the wood sage and sea salt she gave me some of that body cream that can that scent i really like um, then she gave me a perfume. This is the wood sage and sea salt cologne. And then this is the vetiver and golden vanilla perfume or cologne. It doesn't say on here. And then this one is the honeysuckle and Davana. This is handwritten, so I can't really make out her handwriting. Um, and I'm not too sure if these are colognes or perfumes. Um, and then this is another cologne. This is also the English, the English pear. And then this one is Fioni and Blush Suede Cologne. So they gave me quite a few little samples. Let me see how this one smells. Oh. This Fioni and Blush Suede, what? Ooh. That smells really good, I like that. So I think I'm gonna burn this one right now here in my studio. I'm gonna put all the little um, samples back in the bag. And then I'm going to put the smaller candle back in the box. Joe Malone, they just always package their stuff so nicely. Never want to take it. <laughs> Never want to take it out. And then they always spray like the tissue paper. So nice. Oh, I do have these too. I have the wood and sage wood sage and sea salt body and hand wash and yeah she gave me two of those so that was nice i'm definitely gonna keep this body cream out i can rub some of this like on my arms and my hands and stuff like that so that's pretty cool but right now i'm gonna swap out my candle Y'all, I'm going to have to go back and buy some of this because this smells really good. Fioni and Blush Suede. I got to go buy some of that. So I've been burning this candle right here. This is a Sand and Fog Sandalwood Verbena. I got this from Home Goods for $14.99. It smells really nice. Um, but I'm going to swap her out for my Jo Malone candles. It's gonna smell really expensive in here, okay? Really, really nice in here. Oh, I'm going to get this. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to get it. 
I love it. I also just received a text message from Ikea saying that they'll be here with my delivery in 10 minutes. Um, so I just basically ordered um, the mirrors that I told you guys that I wanted for my studio. I ordered them last night online. I ordered two um, because when we went in the store like two weeks ago, they they didn't have them available. So I ended up just ordering ordering them last night and they'll be here today. So um, they'll be here in 10 minutes. I'm so excited. Y'all know how I feel when I when I get packages. I get so excited. I am so oily. As soon as they get here, I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, y'all. So the mirrors are here. These things are huge. I think they're like 77 inches long. So I just bought two. I'm going to do side by side. So I'm going to unwrap them really quick. We'll try to um, unwrap them before we go to the game, so. Alright y'all, so today is Wednesday and I just got back from the gym. I went early this morning and I only did a 30 minute workout today. But here's my mirrors. I decided to go with two because y'all know I have to use this room for a few different things. So um, I decided to go with two. I love the way it looks. I'm not going to like deck this room out like it's not going to be decorated super nice. I'm um, just going to have little corners that I can use for different things. Y'all know I do my mukbangs in here. I do my sit-down videos in here. I get dressed in here. So, um, I'm going to leave it pretty plain. But this is like my little cozy corner that you guys will probably see the most. Um, but, yeah. Love these mirrors. I think these mirrors are called the Hovit mirrors. They're huge. If you guys have ever seen these in person, I think these are like the biggest ones that they sell at Ikea. They're huge. And I think I'm just going to let them um, lean. Y'all see that stain right there on the carpet? It's because the little piece from the lily fell on the ground. I tried to wipe it up and it stained the carpet. <laughs> so if you guys have any suggestions on how to get that out, please let me know. But I don't think it's going to come out. I've used some... Um, carpet stain remover and it's not moving so y'all let me know if you guys have any suggestions but I love the mirrors and I'll have the link to them in the description box don't take it personal I ain't lying I ain't hiding I've been grinding multiplying I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing.